All right, Coach Mena, I don't know if I can match the energy that you put out there and the output that was in that, uh, that technique session I just saw, but looks like you're having fun wrestling still. Yeah, it's a blast. It's a blast working with the kids. It's a blast doing the moves. It's always, uh, it's always a privilege to do it. Um, you were actually here at Legends of Gold for a year, right? Yep, for an entire year. What was it like, you know, be, you know, coming back here, now you're a college coach at the, in Dubuque in Iowa. Mm -hmm. um, but what's it like coming back, you know, now, you know, you get to come back, get to give back to them, help kids out. What's it like coming back? You know, the kids, it's neat, really neat to watch them grow. They're getting taller than me, they're getting bigger, you know, from 60 pounds, now they're 100, 110. Some of them were, you know, shorter. Now they're like towering over me. I mean, some of them, they got some growth for it. So it's just neat to watch them grow. It's neat to witness them experience a lot of fun with the wrestling and, and the Legends of Gold organization. But it's, it's neat to watch. You know, I look at the, 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 the move sets that you're showing today, and uh, it's stuff you did in high school a lot. And then a lot of people don't think that stuff can translate over into college. You, know, you did a pretty good job. You know, you, you had some twisters. You might have pinned some guys. But when you look at that, you know, when you come in here and people say that's a clinic move or that's not going to work, what do you say to someone like that? Well, every move is a good move if you do it at the right time. So setting it up, knowing when the right time is, you know, every move can be a, a great move. And if wrestling is it's critical that... As a wrestler, as a competitor, we we specialize in something, but master something. If, if you're good at at least one or two things in each position, then you, you, you'll end up getting your arm raised quite a bit. Now, you know, I asked you about, you know, you go from Big Ten coaching to now you're a D3 school um, in Dubuque, Iowa. That's correct. But, um, you know, I ask you, what's that transition like for you? Because you, you run at pretty high RPMs. Yeah. You're an intense guy. What's what's that transition been like for you as far as going from, you know, Big Ten college wrestling, competition and coaching, to now you're coaching at a D3 school? And, uh, you know, what, what's it been like for you transition-wise? Well, you know, it's still an NCAA championship, and it's still, a, it's still important to win. Um, but I always say, you know, winning always feels good and losing never does. So, with that said, we're gonna win some titles. You guys, um, you know, looking at, is this your fourth year there? Next year will be my fifth year. Next year will be your fifth year. So, looking, you know, down the road, what are goals and expectations that you have for guys? You know, you've competed at the highest level in Division One college wrestling on one of the all-time greatest teams ever. What, you know, what, what do you take from that experience and apply to Dubuque? Well, Gable was always striving to win all 10 weights. So that's the standard, and that's what we're that's what we're all about. We we expect to win all ten weights, and if you're not trying to do that, then it's never going to happen. But you know, it's possible. So so that's the goal. You know, like wrestling's kind of a young man's game. You know, when you look at the, the sport, because the older you get, the more your body hurts. You look like you're 25 still. Yeah, thanks. How do you stay, you know, still so into it still? Do you wrestle a lot still? And, you know, what, what are, are you picking up anything that's 42 years old? You look 41 or 42 years old, it's amazing. What do you do to stay in current and, and in great shape? Well, better never stops, you know, so continually to get better every day is critical. And Gable was a big advocate of that. You know, better never stops. Always keep improving. And wrestling is it's constantly evolving with new stuff too. There's a lot of great co coaches and wrestlers out there you can learn from. And you know, the other part is just the kids, the college kids, they keep you young, you know? And so I think a lot of it's lifestyle too, but working out all the time and keeping up with them and they're coming in and you know, witnessing that, it's, it's important. How's your body feel? It hurts. <laughs> It hurts, but... You don't feel 25? No, well, I, I feel it, but, you know, this where, you know, passion and adrenaline and intensity, all those ingredients, you know, you just gotta, you gotta be able to push through the pain. For you guys next year, um, you know, Division Three, I think, in my opinion, it's, it's, they're one of the fastest, Division Two and Three are the fastest growing, and I've always, I've asked a couple of people this question, and D1 people will always say, no, nah, that's not true. 
do you think Division Two and Division Three college wrestling is the future of college wrestling? Well, D3 has over 150 programs. So, you know, we have more programs than, than D1 and D2 combined. So, I mean, I feel like from a job standpoint and employment, you know, D3 is where it's at from employment. There's just a lot more opportunities job-wise. There's more programs. But, you know, starting programs, D3 starts them probably faster than any division. But, um, you know, the D2s are starting them, and we'd like to see more D1s get started up too. But as long as the sport's growing, you know, the kids are, are doing it and they're just, you know, developing to become, you know, just great citizens, good moral character and, you know, kind of epitomizing all those great, great qualities. Then, you know, I'm okay with wherever, wherever I'm placed, where I'm called to be. All right. Speaking of Division One, I, I know you got to be a little bit of, of a fan, potentially. Who do you cheer for? Who's your team? Who do you cheer for? I know that's like a silly question. Who do you cheer for? The Iowa Hawkeyes. The Hawkeyes? Yeah. I don't know if it was the Hoosiers or, you know, you coached there for a while. Yeah. But the Hawkeyes. The Iowa Hawkeyes. That's where I was, that's where I was raised. Okay, man, that's always, that's always good. Uh, what's next for you? I'll be back next week and uh, finish up the intensive camp. And then, um, you know, I'm getting, the, getting ready for the college kids. They're coming in. They'll be moving in here in, uh, in August, so getting everything prepared for them, making sure they're all ready to go, and time does go by quick, so making sure we're ready to win a national championship next year. All right, Coach, you got anything else for me? You know, I just, I really, I just want to say thank you for giving your time and your talents and coming and, and sharing. Thanks. Twister Mania. Thanks, man.